So in Maryland, there's a senior at Urbana High School who's using her skills as an artist to help children with disabilities. She created a sensory playground painting so kids who come out to play can also communicate their emotions. WDVM's Rodea Lewis sat down with her and shares what inspired this incredible gift. My hope is that this kind of starts a chain reaction where more kids want to get involved and um, find, you know, an artistic outlet to help the community. Galia Abraham is a senior at Urbana High School who recently used her artistic skills to paint a new sensory playground at Centerville Elementary School. Ibrahim got the inspiration from her brother who has a learning disability. She noticed how hard it can be for some children with disabilities to express themselves. So to combat this issue, she, along with others, painted a sensory playground with different emotional images for children to communicate their needs and thoughts. Typically, it's very hard for a lot of these kids, like I said, to communicate with one another. And so by having a space like this where they can all play equally, you know, it's a great time for them to work together. Some of our students, they really just need an opportunity for movement and to share with us how they're feeling. So we're able to bring them out at any moment in the day to provide that to them. With different colors, symbols, and communication elements, this sensory painting took a lot of time and effort. And staff say the Centerville Elementary School students use it daily to build stronger connections. They can come out here and use art to really share their feelings and have an outlet and an opportunity not just for movement, but just to feel free and be themselves. You see a lot of people, they raise money, they raise funds, but you don't see a lot of people putting the arts back into their community. So really helping people realize that, you know, artistic outlets can really make a difference in the world is like my goal. And FCPS plans to implement more programs and initiatives to promote diversity and inclusion. Reporting for WDVM 25, I'm Nordea Lewis. Pretty powerful. All right, so SCPS says all kids of all abilities can benefit from this sensory playground. It's good for teachers and parents to walk their children through it and talk about and express themselves more clearly.